We need, need to talk about The Last of Us. Hello everyone, my name is Melanie and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Before I start, this video is just mainly my opinion. You can disagree, you can agree. We all accept each other's opinions here. I'm going to be talking about the very highly acclaimed TV show called The Last of Us, starring Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. I also just wanted to say hello to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I've been getting a lot of love on my newest video with my Last of Us edit. It's been doing incredibly well, so thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for being here. And those who are returning, thank you so much for staying with me. All right, folks, let's talk about why I think this is one of the best series I have seen in such a long time. Now, if you haven't seen my Supernatural video, I vaguely mentioned that I have seen a lot of series and most recently I finished The Last of Us and my god, that series is beautiful. I just want to preface this by saying I was not really much of a PlayStation player. I do game, but I grew up on Xbox mainly. I played a lot of Xbox 360 and Xbox One until I am um, recently converted to PC, so now I just PC game. I haven't had the beautiful experience of playing The Last of Us, and I haven't watched any gameplay either. Since The Last of Us series, I just do not want to touch the game until it comes out on PC at the end of the month. So very, very excited about that. So I obviously am by well, I'm not biased, but I only have the opinion of the series. Now I've seen a lot of discourse between game fans. A lot of game fans absolutely love it. They think they brought it justice to the game. A lot of game fans don't. I'm in the middle Switzerland section where I just I adore the series I really do if you have no idea what the last of us is it's a post-apocalyptic series about a man named Joel and a girl named Ellie and essentially it's about their relationship now a lot of people think that it's just about zombies zombies are a part of it they're not really zombies it's about a fungus called cordyceps which is an invasive fungi that basically controls your brain but essentially it's going through the relationships and going through the stories of the characters trying to navigate this post-apocalyptic world. Now for me, I absolutely love, love post-apocalyptic dramas. I grew up on The Maze Runner, I grew up on The Hunger Games. I, I just love it. I don't know why I have such a fascination with it, but I do. There's just something so cool about it, especially with the set design. The set design on The Last of Us is incredible. I have seen so many behind the scenes videos. The way they transform a city, even small details down to the bridges being overgrown and you know, the decaying build, I just, I love it. I love it so, so much. One of the main controversies of the show that I have seen is the fact that Bella Ramsey, what an icon, may I add, plays the starring role of Ellie. Now, she doesn't particularly look exactly as the game character. There are, there are differences and, you know, that's okay. One of the biggest things I find with adaptations or with just acting in general, obviously, if there is a look to the role, then a lot of casting directors will aim towards that look. But... In the case of Bella Ramsey, she has such a phenomenal performance that even though she doesn't look exactly the same as Ellie's character in the game, I don't think that's an issue. I've seen diehard fans sort of complain that, you know, Ellie is not great or this isn't quoting, don't quote me on this, but um, Ellie just doesn't have the same vibe as the game character. But at the end of the day, you're converting a game with a lot of action and a lot of different mechanics into a series that needs to keep people engaged and it needs to keep people interested. When you're adapting something like a video game, changes have to be done smartly. We are telling more. There is so much in between. I think that especially the chemistry between Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal, they are perfect for the roles. <laughs> right. I think that would be good in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> swish, my, <laughs> swish my way through it. <laughs> exactly, just track it in. <laughs> Flash. If anyone complains about Bella Ramsey not looking like Ellie, 
then Pedro Pascal doesn't really look like Joel either. I'm just going to put that out there. I think that Bella Ramsey's performance is phenomenal, especially, I'll keep this as spoiler free as possible, the performance she gives in episode 8. It's times like these I wish, I just wish I could act. I, I really do. Oh my. Bella is just incredible. She is perfect for the role. Also, she embodies feminine rage so damn well. I cannot wait to see what she does in season two because yes, the series has been renewed for a second season. As for the story, there were points where I felt like they could have expanded. Season finale, whilst I feel it does justice to the game because apparently that's how the first game ended, I feel like there could have been more. I feel like for a season finale, 45 minutes was cut a bit abruptly. It did what it needed to do. You know, it left me wondering what happens to Joel and Ellie now. Like, we know that there's been some, some drama. I just think that the show is so beautifully crafted. You can tell that everyone who worked on the show, they wanted to be there. They were so ingrained in the production. I mean, I look at the behind the scenes footage and I just think I would love to be just an ounce of a part of that production because they're all so passionate about it. The cinematography in this show, there are some shots that are just absolutely stunning. And when I saw them on screen, I'm I'm so annoying with my family. When I was watching them, I was just like, oh my God, look at that sunset shot. Look at the silhouette, wow. I am, I'm that person, okay. I just, I can't help but admire when something is beautifully shot. I just, I just can't. I think from the series, my favorite episodes are episode eight. Hang on, let me just whip up. So my favorite episodes are episode one, Lost in the Darkness. It opens up the show perfectly. It is beautifully shot. It develops the characters. You see where they start and obviously how how they develop. Episode 8 was one of my favourites, but one of the scariest episodes I've seen. The acting, like I said with Bella Ramsey, is phenomenal. The way she encapsulates that fear of what happens. I was left speechless, because not only is it something that happens a lot, she captured it absolutely perfectly, which just shows their incredible acting ability. It's okay, baby girl. Look for the Light, the season finale, that is definitely one of my favourites as well. It develops the relationship of Joel and Ellie, it also leaves Joel and Ellie in a bit of a sticky situation at the end of it. Again, spoiler free, but uh... uh I just know something bad's gonna happen. I can't remember which episode it is. I'm just gonna do a little searchy search. Okay, season four, please hold my hand. That was the most wholesome episode I have ever seen. The puns in it are incredible. I will, I, th this pun in particular. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? Yeah. It runs in your jeans. Perfection. Comedy genius. Overall, generally, I just loved all of the episodes. It's hard to pick favourites, but I think those three, those three are probably my favourites. If you haven't seen The Last of Us, you need to watch it. Honestly, I haven't found a show I've loved this much and have been this passionate about in a long, long time. So tell me, have you seen The Last of Us? Have you? Let me know in the comments because I, I, I just cannot wait for season two. As soon as the trailer drops for season two, you already know that I am going to be on that. I'm just, I'm honestly so upset that I'm going to have to wait till late next year or early 2025 for another season of this, of this spectacular show. Although season five of Stranger Things does come out next year, I think. 
which isn't too bad, that could be a good filler. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please do let me know. Please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. You'd really be supporting me as a small creator and also following my journey watching, you know, random series like this, films and following my journey into the film and TV industry. Hopefully becoming a camera operator. I really do appreciate everyone who is supporting my channel at the moment. Big love to you. And if you did enjoy, please do, you know, share my videos, keep up with the content. I do have a very exciting video that's coming out very soon. I'm going somewhere this week, so that will be really good. Uh, I can't wait to edit that video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.